1978, Louise Brown became the world's first test tube baby. 32 years later, one of the men who developed the technique of in vitro fertilization won the Nobel Prize for medicine. Robert Edwards, holding baby Louise in the picture, had worked in Cambridge with gynecologist surgeon Patrick Steptoe, who died back in 1988. Some four million children around the world now have been born because of IVF, according to Krister Hoog, a member of the Nobel Medicine Prize Committee. One to two percent of all newborns in Europe and America and Australia and a number of countries are conceived through IVF. It's a safe and effective therapy. It is regulated by strict ethical guidelines. And long-term follow-up studies have determined that IVF children are as healthy as other children. The technique calls for egg cells to be removed from a woman, fertilized outside her body, then implanted back into her womb. Today, the odds are one to five that an infertile couple will take home a baby after a cycle of IVF, the same odds that healthy couples have of conceiving naturally. The ailing 85-year-old Edwards hasn't commented on his prize, but his wife told members of a Nobel committee she was sure he'd be delighted. Back in 2003, at Louise Brown's 25th birthday party at the Bourne Hall Clinic he helped found, the IVF pioneer had said he and his colleagues had to fight a lot of opposition, but their concepts worked and worked out in the end. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.